waiting for this match a long time, and now an opportunity for Tibilov to deliver. Bronze medal, 63 kilos. Serbia comes out in the blue with Georgi Tibilov, 23 years old, matched up against Armenia's Rachia Pogosian, the 24-year-old in search of his first world medal tonight. He'll be in the red. Both wrestlers circling in the center. Pagosian, European bronze medalist earlier this year. Won a world bronze as well at the U23 level last year at the World U23s, a world bronze in 21 as well. Again, both of those at U23 and now making the jump into the senior level ranks for the first time as far as a medal match goes. A lot of twist control, but it's Bilov already has two attempts on the arm drag, but uh, Pogosian, he, uh, he didn't go for it. First par tear opportunity, and it will go to Tibilov, so he gets the passivity point. Initially off the whistle, Pagosian closing off the right side. Good movement underneath, making it difficult for Tibilov to get a good grip. Now he does, jumps left to right. Feet spread across the back of the body. The thing is, uh, Tibilov, he, um, he's... His best lift is on the, on the left, and uh, Pagosian, he's always moving. The feet that he's trying to get down to lift up, he's always moving it so he can get that uh, stance. And Pogosian did that very well. Good job there by Rachia Pogosian. First parterre defense. Tibilov, he's really pushing pe pressure, putting pressure on uh, on Pogosian right now. There's a good underhook established by Tibilov. Lost it. Switches right to the wrist. Can see him trying to hoist up, getting free. Pogosian. Tibilov really working hard in this first period. Now he's going to have some extra momentum. He has a lot of fans here. That always provides some extra juice when you can hear the roars of your crowd and knowing that they're in your corner. Yeah, exactly, and he really needs to use that in the second period, not to get down in Patel. But maybe that's his uh, game plan right now, making Pogosian as tight as possible in the second round and then just keep the same uh, pressure on him and maybe not go down in Patel position. Yeah, he came after him, no doubt about it. Pagosian's gonna have to match that energy in this second period. You see him in that corner for Armenia, another strong three days of Greco-Roman wrestling for the country of Armenia. pagosian has been a big part of it. Tibilov taking a quick glance over at the opposite corner, maybe just Taking a look to see if Pagosian showing any signs of feeling fatigued or tired after a pretty good pace in that opening three minutes. Second period for bronze underway. Key opening 30 to 45 seconds if you're Rachia Pagosian. Match the energy of Tibilov. That's your goal right now. But boy, you just see Tibilov continue to hunt, initiate these ties, get to his contact spots. Yeah, exactly. Tibilov needs to go uh, go with one underhook and control the match from there and just put, put pressure on him. 
The Serbian crowd knows wrestling so well, you can hear them yelling, passive, passive, they want that call. He gets to the doubles, and he takes him right to his back. He got the double precaution. He wants to uh, counter move, counter move, and just throw him, but he stopped him in the air. They go two and not four. I think it was because it was uh, precaution's attack, and he just stopped him in the action. Tibalov with a three nothing lead. You could see Georgi looking at his corner showing four fingers he thought it was good enough for four not quite just the two but again he is just taking the mat look at his mat territory and control on Pagosian and this is what he wants to do right now and he has to keep move forward right now because otherwise he will get the yeah Pagosian just can't get back into the center cornered off along that outside ring steering him near the edge and getting the step out point Georgi Tibalov with a 4 nothing lead, not quite halfway through this period. What a condition by Tibalov. And the right game plan. He continued uh, after the Patel position before, just making Pogosian a little bit tired, more and more and more, and now he got the results. And now he don't want to... Uh... He did not want a long blood timeout. Exactly. He, he told the trainer, one swipe and let me get back in there. He senses it. Yeah. You can get a feeling you know frederick when the opponent might be a little fatigued and tired you don't want any stoppages when it gets to that it's like Tiblov. he's also tired right now but when you feel your opponent he's tired you get a little bit more energy all the time and of course the crowd here and everything this is a high tempo to be to be love he's uh, he's doing gets to his underhook right side Left side of the body of Pagosian. 60 seconds, Serbia wanting to celebrate a bronze medal, trying to get a step out. Pagosian, so he made a cut back into an angle to get back into the center, slipped a little bit, got right back up. But man, he just can't get to anything offensively because of the constant barrage of initiation coming from Georgi Tibalov. And that's what I think he's doing right now to be love. Um, this is where you are um, leading with maybe four points. You stop wrestling and just go to defense mode. This is the perfect because uh, now Pogosian, he cannot start anything. The best defense is attacking. From the opening whistle, in this match, it has belonged to the wrestler in blue from Serbia, Georgi Tibalov. And in five seconds, this crowd will let them know their appreciation. The bronze medal to Serbia, 4-0, Georgi Tibalov. 